Okay, so I got up this morning and as you can see, it was raining. So it's nice and cool. Only problem is there's 100% humidity and I am sweating like crazy. But I decided to keep working on the shelves. And what I'm doing right now is I'm pre-manufacturing all of the actual shelves themselves, which are made into a module. And to show you real quick what they are, each shelf is eight foot long, has a cross member in the middle and at each end. I'm using a combination of three inch deck screws. I'm doing the deck of each shelf with inch and a half drywall screws. These shelves are never going to see any weather. They're always going to be indoors. Y'all are wondering what I'm using. I've had this for years. I used this when I worked uh, HVAC. It's a Hitachi 12 volt impact lithium battery impact driver. Um, I've got years and years and years on this thing. It's extremely well balanced. It's lightweight and it's really powerful fits in a tool bag real nicely. I've dropped this from a third floor off a ladder many, many times, and uh, it keeps on working. I've tried DeWalt, I've tried all the other brands, I've tried Makita. They're a lot more expensive, and honestly, I usually break them within a year. This is the only one. Uh, let's see, I got this in 2011. So that's how many years I've been using this. Um, I stopped doing HVAC full-time in uh, 2013, and then I've been using this uh, around the house and everything since then, and since we hit the road, uh, RVing, um, it, uh, it's, it's excellent. I really highly recommend the Hitachi Power Tools. Time to cut some boards.
slow motion crew And we up in our growlings when people change but not us And we just chillin', kickin' it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon I know she got the good vibes when seasons change but when The square is, I'm guessing, 80 years old. Got it from my grandfather. And I believe he got it from his father when he was a kid. And I don't need to speak a single word. Cause you got me holding, holding. Even if my jokes are funny, my tongue tied up on it. And I don't need to speak a single word. Rubber mallet, this was also my grandfather's. I have no idea how old it is, but it's very old. At least probably, uh, I'm guessing 60 to 70 years, if not more. Time for a new battery. Okay, back with the new battery.
Okay, just about done with this one. I gotta put the side legs on and then we're good to go. A done unit and just to show you put the level on the side we're very close to exact considering that I put it together on the floor all just with measured marks very close I decided to go a little lower with the height of the bench because my wife needs to use it too. And it would have been a mistake if I went at the height I was going to. I was gonna put it at four foot and instead I decided to put it at three and a half. I am going to use brackets. This is going to give it a little extra strength. There's a trick that we used to use in heating when working on sheet metal because we need the measurements to be absolutely exact on the cuts, especially when you're making ductwork. So I'm measuring out four inches up there against a piece of wood like this. Well, the lip of the tape measure pushes the tape off a little bit and changes the measurements. So what I do is I start my measurement line at two inches and I go down to six. That gives me exact line to line. Also, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Chuck. Uh, I miss you, bro. Can't wait to see you again. I love it when a good plan comes together. Where'd that come from? Some of you will know. Anyway, I thought this up completely in my head and it's come together exactly as I wanted it to. These are my least favorite to drive in. These are actually made for Trex deck. They're what's called double threads and there's square drive, or as in the heating business, we call it electrician bit. They're my least favorite. So alive, make you laugh. 
Okay, we didn't film the last part, which was getting this shelf up here with the backing plywood attached. It was unbelievably difficult. Okay, so here is the finished shelves. Unfortunately, we didn't film them before we loaded them up with all of our stuff but this is all of our stuff we have in here for storage my workbench which I've already been using for a couple of weeks turned out really well the shelf above and I'll just do a quick pan down and that's basically the finished unit like I said 24 feet long seven feet tall a total of seven shelves and one bench been working out great if you like this build and you want to do something like this yourself I will put a list of materials in the description Remember, like, share, subscribe. Thanks.